the carpet of kitties. Um, one little lion cub having a little bit of a scratch at his mangy elbows, her mangy elbows. I keep saying his for every cub, and that's silly of me, because that isn't the case at all. Oh, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> Sweet. Well, there is a, a huge improvement when it comes to the mange, I feel, at least for the older cubs. I was looking for Taylor's little cub. Not Taylor's little cub, she doesn't have a cub, but um, the, her little favorite, the floppy-eared lioness, the youngest of the surviving Inkuhuma cubs. And even little floppy-eared lioness seems to be a little bit better and a little bit healthier and a bit more sprightly. And you can see our lion cubs are full of energy. It's wonderful to see them playing like this once again. It was that terrifying time when we were so worried about them. So it's really lovely to see them as full of energy as they are at the moment. And so full of burning curiosity about the world around them. Yes, they're still itchy, but it, there is a vast, vast improvement. And for our newer viewers, and I know that we do have a few new viewers, it's lovely to have you on board. And this is the Nkuhuma Pride, and they're six gorgeous little cubs. Yes, and now that our school drive is finished, don't forget that you can send through your questions, and you can do that using the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter, or you can email through to questions at wildearth.tv. I love these little lion cubs, and I love not having a door as well. It's such a wonder, it's very comfortable. This is a new addition. Right, little ones, what are you going to do? Are you going to climb right behind the pole of the roof? Yes. Sorry about that, everybody. There is a roof on our vehicle, which makes life slightly more difficult, but is highly necessary in this changeable weather. Oh, yay! The world's a jungle gym, or a merry-go-round, as the case may be. Grabbing onto each other's tails. Now, Justin, while they attempt to grab each other's tails, Yells, we're talking about you. Uh, Justin, you want to know whether or not lions have ever been seen chasing their own tails. I've seen them catch their own tails and chew on their own tails. Um, I haven't seen them run in circles in the way some dogs do. Sorry, bear with me one moment. Go ahead, Andrew. Oh, of course, you're more than welcome. Just letting Andrew know that he can come and join us and the gambling cubs. Every time I pick a position, they seem to move somewhere else. I'm just going to wait for Andrew to stop his vehicle, and once he turns off his engine, then we'll be able to reposition. <laughs> so I've never <laughs> seen them chase their tails um, round in circles, but I have seen them catch their own tails, grab it in their paw, and then chew on it, and then look seriously surprised when it hurts. It's thoroughly entertaining to watch. And of course, those tails are so, so important. You've been looking, you've been seeing the Salala pride with the lioness without her tail. So it's not critical to a lion's survival, but it does play a very big role in both balancing the cat and most importantly, serving as an indicator of their body language, their moods, their intentions, their actions. Everything is highlighted by the swishing of that tail. Of course, it makes a good chew toy too. Oh, I heard that. I felt that thump. Okay, Andrew's engine's off, so now I'm going to turn on mine and just reposition ever so slightly. Maybe we'll get a slightly better view on these bouncing baby lions. It's all right. It's okay. Yes, you little monsters. That's said with the greatest of affection. This is the joy of watching big cats in cool weather. Oh, <laughs> you lose your balance there by any chance. <laughs> so while our lions practice their or inspiring tree climbing skills. Kelly and her third grade class, it is lovely to hear from you. You want to know what time of the day 
lions hunt. So they usually hunt at night. Um, sometimes they'll hunt in the morning or the late afternoon. And if they're really, really hungry, they can hunt in the middle of the day, especially if something just comes wandering past them. But lions don't like to get too hot. They're not very good at coping with heat, which is why they spend most of the middle of the day sleeping in the shade. And of course, they have the advantage at night. They can see very, very well in the dark, as well as we can see almost during the day, just without any color. So they can see well in the dark. And that is when they become as stealthy as shadows. <laughs> well, not just yet, though. They still have to work on some of those hunting skills. Whoa, look how high you've gone. You're a m pro. Now let's see you get down. Yes, you seem to be having the same thoughts. Bump. <laughs>